Hi everyone and welcome to Cooking with Cricket. Excuse my mess. Um, we're going to bring you along as we cook some uh, rack of ribs on our smoker. Our little smoker is very tiny and we're going to have to cut them in half. But um, I just thought I'd bring you along. Hope to do everybody else proud. I've never done this. And when I cook meat, I'm going to make sure that the meat is very, very done. So I may overcook them, but that's all right. So let me bring the ribs out and we'll get started with them. On our smoker. Ooh. Richard, come here and smell these. What I mean, it smells like something that's been laying out in the road deep. Well, then that ain't, that ain't a good smell. I know. Well, if that's what it smells like to you, then that ain't a good smell. It's right. not supposed to smell like a dead animal. That's what it smells like to me. Well, that's really here. Okay, we had a little hiccup, a little glitch with our first rack of ribs. As soon as I cut them open, the stench hit me. They was bad, very bad. Called Ricky in here. He even said it smelled like a dead animal that's been on the side of the road. So, got rid of that, sterilized everything, and went and bought some more. So, we're going to put these, we're running very late now. So, we're going to put them on the smoker for a while, and then probably have to finish them up on the grill. So, I got them washed, and I'm going to have to cut them in half to fit on our tiny smoker. I'll show you our smoker. And usually I don't cook ribs, so are the bone-in kind. And I think I've hit a bone. Alright, Richard. Okay. Can you come open the mustard, please? Even though I got gloves on, I've done touched the raw meat, so I'm gonna let Ricky put the mustard on for me. And then sprinkle the rub while I pat it in. Because even if I was to touch the mustard, even though I have on gloves, then I'm going to contaminate the mustard. Let me turn them over. Put this on. Well, yeah, go ahead and sprinkle some on there. Now, this rub we're using is what I got when we went on our uh, little anniversary trip up at the Amish place. It's their rib rub. Just... All right, I'll bring you back when we go to put it on our little smoker. Put a little bit more on there. All right, see our little smoker's tiny, tiny. So that's why I had to cut them in half. All right, I'll bring you back periodically through the rest of the hours that we have. <laughs> All right, our ribs have been on the smoker for about an hour and a half. It's been running around 300. So now we're gonna take them out. I don't know if you can see that good with the sun shining. We're gonna put them on the grill. We're gonna put them, wrap them in full with some barbecue sauce. And I'll show you that in just a second. Now I just took the Temperature of them at 170. So basically, they're about done anyway. Wait, got to put some um, barbecue sauce on it. Just put it on that side and flip it over. All right, we're gonna let these go for maybe an hour on low and then take them off and let them sit for about 30 minutes I guess and then I'll bring you back when we take them off all right we took them off the grill that's on there for maybe an hour we're gonna let them sit for a little bit and then I'll bring you back when we open them and try them all right now for the moment of truth Feel hot. Hang on. There's my bite. I'm gonna get you a bite here.
Dang it. Oh, that, that. Mm. Did moist and everything. Yeah, just kind of stuck. <laughs> it's not burn. But we can rectify that. Still have a lot to learn. But they're edible. Oh yeah, look. Falling off the bone. See? Oops. They're tender. Got a good taste. I'll still keep watching up on all of my barbecuing and everything, friends, videos, and learning. So thanks for coming along with us as we uh, did the ribs. And until my next video, I hope you enjoy. Bye, y'all. You know our smoker's real tiny and we're going to have to cut the ribs. <laughs>